Battle of the Lipsticks. I'm Laura Ray. Probably my favorite product is lipstick. Tell me in the comments, what's your favorite beauty product? Is it foundation? Is it blush? Is it eyeshadow? I would say that's my second favorite. But let's talk about lipsticks. They're going to battle it up. We're going to go some high end to get some drugstore priced affordable lipstick. And let's see which one is the final winner. I've purchased several of the L'Oreal Glow Paradise lipsticks. These run around $6.99. They're very hydrating. They're sort of a combination of a lip balm, a little bit of a gel texture maybe, and a lipstick. These look luxe, gorgeous on the lips. The one drawback is they're not long lasting. So just like a lot of lip balms, you will have to keep reapplying. Another drawback that I saw over the time I used them is that they dry out. The product actually dries out and doesn't work as well. Now, for someone that doesn't have a lot of lipsticks like I do because I'm trying so many for the channel, it might be fine because you'll go through these more quickly. But for me, when I'm wearing them occasionally, it's sort of disappointing to go back and see that it's starting to dry out. So I really love these, but just keep those things in mind about them not being long wearing and also the lipstick itself drying out quicker than other lipsticks I own. Now this is going to battle one from CoverGirl that came out, I believe, around the beginning of 2022 to maybe springtime. These are the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Moisture Renew Core Lipstick. I love that they brought back the core where the center is more moisturizing. This is a great affordable lipstick. It runs close to $9 and it keeps the lips very hydrated. It has hyaluronic acid in it. And uh, I really like this lipstick. It came in some beautiful shades. It's very sheer, yet if you layer it, you can get more pigment to it. And I find that they are very moisturizing and non-drying. So I think they're really special lipsticks and I really like them. But let's see which one will win. I say the CoverGirl. I've had no issues with these drying out. They look beautiful on the lips. There's such a great variety of colors to pick from that look great on mature lips. So I say the winner of this round is the CoverGirl. Battling the CoverGirl is the Maybelline New York Color Sensational Lipstick, and this is the shade Romantic Rose. It's been out so long, I've repurchased this. It only runs around $5.48 on Amazon. What a deal. These lipsticks never dry my lips out. They're very moisturizing. I love the variety of shades Maybelline has. I love that you can go in and look and they'll have the pinks grouped together. They'll have the reds grouped together. I love how they organize the collection so it's easy to look and see what you would like and go right for it. But most of the lipsticks run around $6, depending where you're purchasing them. I'll have all the links, by the way, in the description of the video. And thank you for shopping those links because you are the sponsors of my channel and I appreciate you so much. So this lipstick, as I said, is one of many I purchased for Maybelline. And I love this brand. I always am satisfied and never disappointed with a lipstick I purchased. So let's see which one's going to win this battle. I'd say the Maybelline. The Maybelline is a lot less expensive. You save at least a third of the cost. I find the lipsticks are long lasting on my lips. They never dry out and there's such a variety of shades. So even though I love the CoverGirl so much, I have to go with this one from Maybelline. Let's put the Maybelline up against a more expensive lipstick. I was so curious about this brand, Besame. I have seen it online for so long. I've heard Emily Noel talk about this line. This is a company that does sort of a uh, time period makeup. This lipstick was uh, made after color made in 1965. I was born in 1964, so I have this urge to see like what were women wearing around the time I was born. This shade is Portrait Peach, and I just love it. It's a beautiful shade. Now, this lipstick is a cream, a creamy, but not any shimmer to it. It's more of a matte look. And as I wear it, I like it, but I wasn't as 
um, thrilled with it as if they had added a little bit of sheen to it. I think that would have made it look better on my mature lips. Now, I think on a younger person, this would probably look really great. But my lips have some lines and things like that in them that I feel like I want to put a gloss on top of this when I wear it. The shade is beautiful and it wouldn't keep me from buying other products from this company. I would like to try some of the other shades. They had some beautiful pinks and reds. This is the first one I've ever purchased from them. It runs $28. Now it does have uh, vitamin E in it, aloes, squalene. So they are putting ingredients to keep them moisturizing but I don't get the same uh, feel of moisture I do from other lipsticks I've even purchased at the drugstore. So I do love it, and I'd be willing to buy more from this company, but this particular shade isn't, uh, I think, the best for me. So I'm gonna put it up against the Maybelline, and the winner is the Maybelline. This color just works for me. This is 450 Romantic Rose and I just love the way it feels on my lips. It uh, has the same longevity I feel as other lipsticks so for this price I don't think you could beat it. Now the Maybelline is going to go up against one of the most famous lipsticks in this world and that's from MAC, a line that I love so much and this is a mini of it and the shade is Velvet Teddy. This is supposed to be a universal nude that looks beautiful on everyone. I love it. I like the fact that MAC puts out these minis of some of their shades so you can try it and you don't have to make a full commitment because a full size is $21 of this lipstick. This is gorgeous. It is one of my favorite nudes that I've ever had. It uh, stays a long time on my lips. I'll put it on in the morning, I'll look at lunch and I'll still have the color on my lips. MAC is one of my favorite lipstick brands. I have really discovered them more recently. In the past couple of years, I've bought more of their products even though I did buy MAC makeup even 15, close to 20 years ago, I sort of fell back in love with it in the last couple of years. And I think part of that is it's more accessible. It's in Target now. You can walk into some Ulta's and just pick up a lipstick. So before it was a little harder to get and I had to think about it where now it's right at my fingertips. So I really love this. And I'm gonna put it up against the Maybelline. Now they're different shades, of course, but they have a similar feel to them. While I love this, I have to say the winner of this round is the MAC Velvet Teddy. And the reason is this shade is so universal. I love when they make shades that look great on everyone. And I feel this is one of those shades. Now this battle is about to get spicy because I'm gonna put the MAC Velvet Teddy up against probably the top selling lipstick in the world. And that's Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. This is a shade I've repurchased. My daughter's bought it for me for a birthday present. I love it. It's such a beautiful matte that isn't drying on my lips. This is so close to my lip color, but better. Better in that there's a little more brightness to it. My lips are sort of a purpley mauve. And sometimes I don't like the color of my lips because it looks like I'm cold. Like my lips are turning purple. There's a lot of purple in them. So this brightens them up and makes my lips look a lot better. It is so long lasting. I can put this on and go through pretty much a whole school day and still have lipstick on. And I've given this away even as gifts. And anyone I've given it to has said, wow, Laura, the packaging, I love it. Because most of my friends buy drugstore lipstick. So to get something like this as a gift feels so luck, so special that somebody was really thinking about you and wanted you to have something extra nice. But this comes at a cost, it's $34. Now they do have mini, so if you really wanna try it, I would suggest just getting a mini of this. That would be great. But when they first came out with it, they didn't have minis. So we're going to put it up against the MAC Velvet Teddy. Let's see who's going to be the winner. Pillow Talk. I just love this shade. I know some people aren't that crazy about it. They don't see what all the hype is about. But it is hard to find a nude with the right amount of pink. 
and she just nailed it in my opinion. This looks so nice on my lips. I can wear it with something very casual or I would put this shade on with something, an outfit that was very dressy. Also, even though it is so expensive, it's nice to have one lipstick maybe in your purse that looks luxe, that's so special. So I would have to say the winner of this round is Pillow Talk. Can this get any spicier? We are gonna put Pillow Talk up against Buxom Full Throttle. This is a plumping lipstick. The shade I'm holding is Supermodel. I purchased two of these and I think they're amazing. Now they have peppermint oil in them to plump the lips. So if you don't like that long going feel of peppermint on your lips, skip this one because you won't like it. But if you're looking for the feel and maybe a little plumping, I don't think it's dramatic. Some people in the comments have said, oh, my lips look so plump. Others say it did nothing for me. I feel sort of in the middle. Maybe I see a little bit, but nothing dramatic. But I love the shine of this. This looks so pretty on my lips. It, again, makes me feel like I'm wearing something luxe. Now, this comes in at $20 compared with Charlotte that is 34 which you have is magnetic packaging. Now, Charlotte's doesn't have that. It's regular putting the lid on and snapping it on. This is very weighted and heavy, and I feel the Buxom looks very luxe. So for this at $20 versus Charlotte, with the colors being very similar, but this one with shine, I'm going with the Buxom. For the next round, we're going with Buxom against Huda. Now this Huda Beauty lipstick is in the shade Sweet Cheeks. It's a medium nude mauve. I love how when you go to select one of her lipsticks, they show you the actual shade. They explain what it is. So if you're looking for a light nude, it will say that. If you're looking for something medium, it will tell you that. That is so helpful when you're shopping and looking for a particular shade. These are so creamy and have a glossy look to them, a gorgeous shimmer. I just think this is one of the best lipsticks I've ever tried. I'm in love with Huda, so many of her products. I'm actually wearing Huda eyeshadow today, Huda blush, Huda foundation. I did a big order for uh, Black Friday. It came so quick, everything was in great shape and I'm loving everything that I purchased at a great price. So now I'm gonna put the Huda up against the Buxom. Now again, the Buxom runs $20, the Huda is 25. So this is plastic packaging. This again is more of a heavy weighted packaging. So we're gonna say the winner this round, I'm gonna say it's the Huda. I think more of you would like this because I know a lot of women don't like that whole peppermint feel on the lips. This is very comfortable on the lips. It did last me a long time. I've been wearing it to school. It didn't fade quickly. Now, I also bought the lip liner to go with it, and I was so impressed with that. But I think the packaging is beautiful, even though it's not as heavy. Sometimes you don't want heavy packaging. If you're putting it in your purse, you don't necessarily want something that's so heavy. So I'm really enjoying this one because it gives a beautiful look to the lips. For the final round, Huda is going to go up against Revlon. I've probably bought the most Revlon super lustrous lipsticks of anything I own. I have bought most of the shades they've made in the past few years. These go on so beautifully. I love the creamy feel on the lips. They're so affordable. This one here that I'm showing you is on the mauve. I've bought multiples of these and it runs $5.96. Now Revlon puts in things like vitamin E, avocado oil, and I feel it makes it really glide on the lips. Think of the price difference. This is $25 versus $5.96. So if we think about that, I could almost get five of these for the cost of one of these. I swatched these and there really wasn't a big difference in the swatches. The way the finishes look, I sort of wiped over it to see would one fade more quickly than the other. They both were about the same. So the winner, surprisingly, of this round and the overall winner is the Revlon. I can't say enough about Revlon. I did a whole video dedicated to them because 
there was talk of them going bankrupt and I would not want a world without Revlon. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite lipstick out of all of them that I showed and I would also love to know what your favorite is you usually wear. Maybe it's a shade I've never tried before or a brand I've never tried and I would love to. So make sure you let me know in the comments. Remember I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern. I appreciate all of you so much. At this time of year, when we're thinking about what we're thankful for, I am thankful for you. You've made such a difference in my life. I hope that I've been able to help you in your life in some small way, because I really, truly appreciate and love you. Have a blessed and beautiful week, and I'll see you soon.